But when you look at the the line on these three guys right in a row, seven or more innings, not allowing one run, I guess your first reaction is awesome. <laughs> uh, very proud of them. Not surprising. Um, they do a lot of each of them do a lot of different things to make it difficult on hitters, and um, they've done a good job taking care of their arms. We have the best pitching coach in the country, and Dave Lawn calling pitches. This is a pitcher-friendly park, and they're just their makeup and toughness and character is through the roof. So, not all that surprising, believe it or not. After JC's series in Lafayette, what do, what did it take for you to trust him out there with the ball? Oh, we totally trusted him. I mean, there's no question if the Super Regional got to Game Three, who we were going to start, and um, that was him. We just didn't get there, fortunately. Um, and the best thing about him is his makeup and I think he only had one maybe two shaky outings this year and the next outings after that were stellar so I had great confidence in what we were going to get tonight. He said he felt like he could have finished the game and he had that little head nod when you came out. He's a competitor. I have no problem with that. I don't want any of our guys to be uh, satisfied. Um, you know, That's part of his makeup and part of the reason he's good and uh, he's got to do a good job uh, tomorrow, anticipating hopefully he gets to pitch another game. Hey, Jay, I know Oklahoma State's been pitching as well as anyone in the, in the postseason this year. But how, how I hadn't heard that. Yeah, <laughs> you saw it. How, how good do you feel about potentially the two guys that you could have lined up to face them if you, you, know, if you can make it go that far? I feel great about it. Uh, what's great about baseball is it's not always the team with the best players. It's the team that plays the best that day. Mm -hmm. And if our uh, team runs out there, we have a chance to play great. If we play great, we have a chance to win, and that's all starts and ends on the mound. How do you explain and Nathan and the amount of innings that he's been able to you've been able to get out of him, mm -hmm. and seemingly being as strong as at any point this year now at the end? Strikes, slow strikes, in and out, change in speed. So what that does is it keeps your pitch count down. Mm -hmm. uh, it's been very well documented uh, what he's done with his conditioning. He lost yeah. 37 pounds. Um, he's an all-star. I mean, look like. Greg Maddox in the bullpen today, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and it's, you know, it was a normal day to, to pen leading yeah. up to a start. He's on full rest, and uh, he's Billy Chapel from that movie for Love of the Game, <laughs> and uh, I love handing the ball to him. The other night, Oklahoma State made a bunch of great defensive plays, and you're, you're talking about, you know, defense wins. You guys kind of played that role tonight. What were you seeing from Lewis Boyd and all the other plays you guys made? Yeah, they're, they're – readiness on the pitch their first steps are great they're engaged into it they know that uh, the game's hanging in the balance every pitch just with the pitching here uh, the quality of the defense on the other side the ballpark all of it plays into uh, every pitch really matters and um, he is uh, he's an elite shortstop you know and I'm very happy to have him for the rest of this deal and have him as a team captain and shortstop next year Oliver, that was about an aggressive and that bad. I get, I think you can see. I think it was the first pitch, and he just said he's been more comfortable over the last couple of weeks. What do you What do you see from that? Well, he's he's an awesome kid. I mean, his athletic ability is through the roof. He is going to be a great, great player. I think possibly one of the elite players in college baseball next year. Um, his work ethic is off the charts. He wins all of our strength and conditioning stuff, and you don't do that unless stuff is really important to you. And in baseball, sometimes. It can be too important to you, and you press and those types of things. I made a decision a while back that this guy can win the game by himself, and we need to get him in there and ride it out. And he's uh, he's made me feel really good about that decision over the last few weeks. What about him? Do you like? I mean, he's just long, and he can run. And what uh, what do you think can get better? Uh, baseball is an experiential game. I mean, the guy got cut from his high school team. I mean, I don't know who the coach was that cut him, but that wasn't very smart. Um, you know, he, he's just a great worker with great tools, and you just have to play to get better. And um, it's on full display and a great stage right here. And I'm really proud of him and, and happy for him. And, you know, one of the silver linings tonight is, you know, you're looking at JC, you're looking at Cameron, and you're looking at him. I mean, that's the core of the leadership for – you know, the team in 2017, and that, that gets me very excited, too. And, um, you know, hopefully we haven't heard the last of uh, those three guys for, for this tournament. Your players said that you haven't been any different since uh, now that you guys are facing elimination. Mustaches this uh, tonight, what is what is that all about? I, I just walked into the lobby and just said, okay. <laughs> you know, um, I don't 
I think what gets lost in us being loose and having fun is these guys are ball players and they come prepared and it's important to them and they grind and they work and they play the game a pitch at a time and so if they do that I'm fine with all the extra stuff and if they want to look like Super Mario with his mustaches good for them. 